Autism Awareness Night with the she and Lauren's two boys mm -hmm. uh, on the spectrum. Tanaya Hanner also have, has written eloquently about her life with autism. Uh, it's an important night. Both of these teams, as we get underway, New Albany will start off in this crucial matchup. A little bit different starting lineup tonight is a Hillian Heigerstrand and Lucia de Cordes, as well as Grace Heaps, the CDPHP starting lineups for you tonight for the Albany Great Danes. Here's Lee, has to back down Heaps. Steps inside, left-handed spinner goes for Adriana Smith and she's on the board. Heigerstrahn, Smith tries to go baseline, spins back towards the middle. Left-hand spinner off the glass, two times that drive, gets a nice screen, looks inside, Fatima Lee's got it, spins up <laughs> off the basket, just beats the shot clock. This is where you'll see the more traditional lineup here for Albany. Cooper, nice catch inside as she took it away from the defender. She's got her first two. Looking down defensively and, and one of the keys, slowing down Smith. She has all four of Maine's points, but beautiful look underneath there. Give the assist to Cooper, the bucket for Heiger. Backdoor pass to Heigerstrand. Hane on the reverse. <laughs> Heigerstrand with a great look to Hane, who spins it off the... From, especially from our angle at midcourt, it looked like she was throwing it out of bounds, and all of a sudden here comes Ellen Hane to grab it. Cooper from 15 knocks that down. You Albany's got... down. She'll be almost unguardable, beautiful shot. Lawrence, nice bounce pass to Gallego, wide open underneath as she scores. Oh, there, she's getting some help from her teammates to get up, but that is what Kayla Cooper does. Continue for the first time, coming back off that ankle injury. Smith spins on Haney, goes off the glass and gets it to hang. And-handed three go and a big series there. Gallego to the corner, Sarah Talon will let the left-handed high arcing three go. Highlight point of her game, she wants to get to the rim. High arcing. You see this one, here's the one from the corner. Knocking that so tough, and then here, kicking it all the way across in the, you talk high arcing. Do you see there? The difference maker that she is, oh. 7.2 minutes last year, 2.1 points, 28 minutes this year, 19.7. She's averaging 0 0.6 points per minute. Smith to do just as good a job. Hey, a little too deep there. Kicks it out to Heigerstrand for three, and she's got it. Heigerstrand hit hers, nice rebound there by Lucia de Cortes, and she gets up with a bucket. Kind of got her arm hooked a little mm -hmm. bit by Smith. Of wanting to win a championship. They all have the same goal in mind of trying to get back to that American East Championship. What a look underneath there. Well executed and set up. With that one minute mark. You all be trying to go in with a little bit of momentum here. Hagerstrand will try to give it to him, and she hits a three from straight away. Father holding a poster of her <laughs> behind her, showing him to all of the fans here at McDonough Sports Complex. A fantastic, excellent defense in a starting role when she's usually been coming off the bench this year. And we've seen her, we've noticed, you know, Hoxton really has played well. That's not right, even though she, she has every year. Same starting five for Maine. Different starting five for the Great Danes as I uh, checked that for uh, for you Albany as Fatima Lee is in there we take a look at your keys to the second half yeah you see that you had to keep feeding Smith there's a nice block underneath from Hane a beautiful shot shot. trying to get to that spot as fast as possible Smith too easy just split the two defenders and went in with a left-handed basket down inside to Cooper spins back the other way now she goes to the right hand can't get it to go battles for the rebound to the ease in that first half, and now that you see the doubles coming, you often have to adjust off of that. Gallego just takes it right down a wide. Some lapses throughout that second quarter there, and that one just a miscommunication and an easy drive. And Maine with a quick 4-0 start here in the second. Cooper gets inside to change that. In the ornament will line it up from deep three. Got it. Much like the last one, high arcing. Set up, and then knock down the three. Haney goes high off the glass. Nice inbound. Ken. Nice look there, Hane inside to Heigerstrand. For and now both teams starting to hit their stride offensively in this first uh, three and a half minutes. Hodgson gets one. Smith on the run out with a left hand. She's into double digits now. And Maine's got the lead. And one, Kayla Cooper puts it into the spin cycle and gets up here and then finally gets good position. And then that's good. Now the question is if you're, oh, there's Hager. A little confusion there. Gallego's shot doesn't go. Smith with the rebound, puts it back underneath. She's really just screaming for the ball. Had a screen and roll there, but Hane wouldn't let it happen. So Bournem will let go another three. That one's a little short. Cooper Corrali impressive. It really is. This one coming right in and a free line right to the left hand. This season, DeCordis with an opportunity to make the three-point play. 
high arcing this season. DeCordis with an opportunity to make the three-point play. There as she gets Lawrence in the air and scores two. Good patience by Ellen Hot. Judith really trying to work the ball inside here, see if they can. Oh boy, that's a tremendous move and ball. Ohane gets in the air. Gallego puts it up on the right hand, spins around and scores. It's a two-point game with Levy Hound. Hygerstrong comes from the weak side. Basket good for the Black Dud. Through Hodgson down low to Gallego. Gallego just changes directions and goes off glass for two. She's got 13 now. As Hygerstrong hits the two from deep. Smith and give her the opportunity in space to get to the back. Oh, from deep three and she's got it. Hillian Hagerstrand with a player. Cooper inside on Smith. Powers up and gets the layup for the lead for the Great Dane. Here's a look at Cooper doing the work inside. Now you can see she, she keeps going, waiting for the contact, going into Smith because she's the game. Smart play there from Kayla Cooper to go right at Smith. You know, circled on the calendar how important they are when yep. it comes to the standings now with just a week left in conference play. Maine sitting there in third, battling with UMBC for that spot. Vermont and UAlbany seemingly locked up in the either. Cooper gets inside, hard contact on Boardman and the foul. You have a choice. Do you stay with Hillian Hagerstrand there or you got to come back out? There's two. And she knocks down the basket and extends the lead to four. Cooper inside. Help comes there. Heaps tries to take it away. Smith does it again, this time with 22 and 9 last time, 22 and 6. Cooper traveled before. Coming on the other side, when Amy Vashon called timeout, she is really upset that she thought that that was already a jump ball. Here, let's see how many steps she takes here. This is the creating the contact before yep. that. That's but the one from before. That, boy, they get the slip screen there, and I think Smith just. So because you Albany called timeout immediately upon getting the rebound, they can advance. Yeah. yeah. We'll get an explanation yeah. here at some point. The officials have done an excellent job of communicating with us today and kind of giving us an idea. Yeah. So it is main basketball. Amy Vashon has just taken a timeout, so it'll advance the ball. It'll be on the near side. The other way now spins back. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Smith doesn't go. Battle inside. Smith gets it again. Stripped away. Left. Bornman went right down the lane. To well, nonetheless, six seconds left. You saw the look, maybe there's a little bit of adjustment, but we'll find out here as Grace Heaps will, and, and, and Colleen Mullins not. Always count on her to be level-headed in this situation. Hane second, up and good. Albany, she'll let it fly. J.C. Christopher's shot is off the mark, and the UAlbany Great Danes survive and advance once again. 53-50, Great Danes win.